Last week the UK broke a bleak record, the most COVID cases recorded in a single day. More than 100,000 cases were recorded, driven by the Omicron variant, which is astoundingly transmissible. London, the epicenter of Omicron, has declared a major incident as cases proliferate. Data are still being gathered on the profile of the symptoms but emerging reports are providing an early glimpse of what could be to come as the variant seeds across the country. The Zoe COVID Symptom Study app provides a temperature gauge of the pandemic as millions of users provide real-time updates on symptoms. According to the latest data from London, runny nose is the top symptom of Omicron, seen in 74% of people. This is followed by headache fatigue, mild and severe sneezing sore throat. Can you have Omicron and Delta at the same time? Professor issues important update speaking about the current ranking of symptoms, Professor Tim Spector, who heads up the Zoe COVID Symptom Study app pointed out that they do not fit the classic profile of COVID symptoms. The professor is making a pointed critique of the government's apparent unwillingness to update the list of symptoms to look for. The NHS website says the main symptoms of COVID are a high temperature, and new, continuous cough and a loss or change to your sense of smell or taste. However, Professor Spector and others have consistently referred to data that shows the symptom profile has changed as new variants have become dominant. B12 deficiency, stroke the soles of your feet to check, advice diabetes, the herb that slashes blood sugar by 25%, tips cancer, the drink that could double your risk, insight. The Zoe app founder is calling on the government to update the main symptoms to include cold-like symptoms. Commenting on the latest data, Professor Tim Spector said, Omicron is set to be the dominant strain in the UK by Christmas, and in the new year cases could hit a peak higher than anything we've ever seen before. In London cases have been rising rapidly, but this will likely slow down soon, as people change their behavior, such as wearing face masks again, cancelling parties and working from home more. Hopefully people now recognize the cold-like symptoms which appear to be the predominant feature of Omicron. These are the changes that will slow the spread of the virus. It's my hope that the rest of the country is doing the same to avoid big outbreaks outside of London, especially in big cities. He continued, ahead of Christmas, if people want to get together and keep vulnerable family members safe, I'd recommend limiting social contact in the run up to Christmas and doing a few lateral flow tests just before the big family gathering. As our latest data shows, Omicron symptoms are predominantly cold symptoms, runny nose, headache, sore throat and sneezing, so people should stay at home as it might well be COVID. We are also seeing two to three times as many mild infections in people with boosters in Omicron areas as we do in Delta variant areas, but they are still very protective and a vital weapon. The Zoe app is one of the best tools we have to rapidly understand this new variant so we want to encourage everyone to download the app and start logging. It only takes a minute to report but each contribution makes a huge difference to the fight against COVID. The booster vaccines are a crucial part of the protective armory, mounting evidence suggests. Research released by the UK Health Security Agency found that a full two-dose vaccination course was less effective against symptomatic disease with Omicron than with the original strain of COVID-19 or the Delta variant. However, moderate to high vaccine effectiveness against mild infection of 70 to 75 percent was seen in the early period after a booster dose. 
The QK study was unable to determine protection against severe forms of disease due to the small number of Omicron cases so far and the natural lag between infection and more severe outcomes. Previous UK experience with the Delta variant suggested that protection against hospitalization after two doses of vaccine was relatively well maintained, it said. The study also noted that booster doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine provide a significant increase in protection against mild disease and are likely to offer even greater levels of protection against severe disease.